This O-gauge model of Bodmin is fully signalled to prototype practice and includes all the ground discs. The lever frame is interlocked electrically through a series of relays and incorporates the facing point lock levers which have to be operated in accordance with prototype practice. The levers operate sliding switches that power the point and signal motors and the interlocking relays. This box of bobbin really has to be learnt. Next to the lever frame are two telegraphic block instruments. One is linked to the signal box at Bodmin Road and the other is linked to Boscan Junction. Using these block instruments, the signalmen can communicate with each other through a series of tapped codes. Now let's see the lever frame in action and the signalman using some of the bell codes as he prepares to send the 1015 passenger to Bodmin Road. Later, we'll see the China clay empties returning to Boscan Junction. The loco is ready, so the signalman sets the road from the shed. There goes disc number 16, which allows the engine to leave the shed and back down onto the coaches. Notice how well the loco responds under the Red Arrow system. Bodmin now calls up Bodmin Road signal box. Bodmin Road responds and then Bodmin asks if the line is clear. If the line is clear, Bodmin Road replies and then sets his instrument to show line clear, which is repeated at Bodmin. Having received line clear, the signalman at Bodmin now sets the road by pulling off signals 3, 2 and 1, which allows the train to leave on its four mile journey down to Bodmin Road. And finally, let's have a look at some China clay empties returning to Boscan Junction from Bodmin Road. These clay wagons are being placed in the back siding at Bodmin, awaiting transfer to Boscan Junction from where they will go to the clay dries at Wenford Bridge. Here we see the wagons being placed into the platform road prior to departure. Having received line clear from Boscan Junction, the signalman sets the road as follows. Firstly, he releases the junction facing point locks. Then the junction point, lever number 20, is pulled. The facing point locks are now returned, which allows him to pull signals 5 and 1 so that the train can leave. <laughs> 